In this video, I'm going to be installing these wireless turn signals or directionals on my Engway M20 e-bike. These can be easily installed on just about any e-bike. And the reason why I chose the wireless option is that it minimizes the cabling on the frame and also I can move them to different locations on the frame easily so that they can be visible. So now the turn signals come with a USB charger which I charge for about two hours. They should have about four hours of operational time so that should last at least a month before you have to at least charge it. Now there's a couple settings. There is a caution setting which is kind of neat. And then there's obviously a right turn signal and a left turn signal. So we want to be aware of that when we're installing. They do automatically shut off after 30 seconds, which is also nice. So you don't keep driving around with the directional on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the switch on the handlebars. Now all of these come with this little rubber band type of feature. I'm going to be installing the switch on this side. Because of my screen being in this location, I'd prefer it on the left side, but the reach would be just too far over here. I could mount it up here on the brake, which I might end up doing, but for the time being, I'm going to mount this on the handlebar. Now this kit comes with a bracket that can mount to a back of a bicycle seat, I believe that's what it's for. And then these are for the frame mounts. The one thing that would be cool is if you could cut this down and then both directionals would fit underneath the seat, which would be nice. I'm not sure I want them out here as my leg might hit it. So I'm going to put it down on the frame and use these little frame brackets. All right, here what I'm gonna do is slide the directional into the frame bracket, and there's a little slot there, and then you simply just put the rubber band around, and I'm gonna attach it here on the frame down low, and then I'm gonna do the same for the other side. And now I'm going to mount the front ones. I think for visibility, I'm gonna mount them a little bit lower. Let's test it here. Very nice. Everything's working good. Let's let's do the cautions. We got cautions for at night, which is kind of nice. That's hazards. And then three turns everything off. This is what it looks like at night. I shut the headlight off. They're definitely bright enough. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel.